Genevieve Jacobs from Region Media for today's news update in a room full of light and colour and one of the very great 20th century Australian artists, Geoffrey Smart, is the feature for this year's summer exhibition at the National Gallery. I've got Nick Mixovich with me, Gallery Director, and Rebecca Edwards and Deborah Hart who are the curators of this marvellous show. Nick, finally, everything's open, the sun is shining, it's summer and we've got these marvellous works on the walls. This is a, a triumph. What better way to start summer with one of the most significant artists of the 20th century, Geoffrey Smart, an exhibition that celebrates his 100th anniversary. And uh, it's a great pleasure to present more than 100 works. And um, we're looking forward to a vibrant summer with the great support of Geoffrey Smart and many of the lenders that have contributed to this exhibition. Now, this is also part of the Visit Canberra program, so it's going to be a really important driver of traffic into Canberra this summer. Deborah, to you, Geoffrey Smart is, is an icon, but also something of a mystery. Never one to really explain what he was about with his paintings. The geometry, of course, is, is the thing that we're all aware of, but for me, also the quality of the light and the colours are so strong. Tell me why he matters so much. Well, I think Geoffrey really brought fresh, fresh perspectives into ways of looking right from his early work. It was about the urban environment and it, you, we really see a journey through the show from those tonal early works, you know, they're quite theatrical. Um, he was really interested in that sense of theatre, but he deliberately wanted to leave things open-ended so that he creates these stage sets that we can bring our own stories to. And as you look through the exhibition, I. I hope what people will discover is the sheer diversity of the work. So from that tonal work to really more vibrant works in Rome and then this opening up in the final room to a kind of mastery of paint and thinking about geometry and the transcendent and bringing those things together. So I think he, he really deserves a fresh look. Rebecca, one of the things about Geoffrey Smart is of course, as Nick said, 100 years since he was born and yet this is so fresh. It's so modern, it's so graphic and, and so strong, so perhaps people will see Geoffrey Smart in a new light after there's perhaps been a little interlude in people's imagination. Oh, absolutely. And I think, I mean, it's so interesting looking at the period we've come out of where everybody has been trapped in their own homes. Suddenly looking at Geoffrey's works makes us look at the environment around us with fresh eyes. You know, he paints the urban environment, he paints the roads, he paints the streets and the towns, places we haven't been able to inhabit normally. But suddenly I think everybody, like Geoffrey, will be able to look at those sites you know, with fresh interest and see the beauty in the everyday and the mundane that he himself was so interested in and distilled you know, with such precision. Yes. And look, he loves a mystery. Labyrinth is behind us, the last painting, and who knows what was going on. Nick, you made the comment that this is a very good fit for the building. The brutalist architecture of Cole Madigan is so well suited to the lines, the colour and the geometry. Well, um, all of this comes together because um, these were the moments in the 20th century that we see through art and architecture and Geoffrey Smart is the perfect fit for the brutalist architecture of Colin Madigan and we're so um, excited to be able to present it together so one helps enjoy the other. And a good long run. We're open here for quite a while. It's a big long run until the middle of May. What I do suggest is get in soon, get in early, because you'll love it so much you want to revisit it. And uh, for members of the National Gallery, there is a season pass so you can come and visit Geoffrey Smart as much as you want. <laughs> also making news on the site this week, we're talking about a new hybrid working model for the public service in Canberra. Huge intense discussion about the meaning of that. We're also discussing new cycling safety laws, whether they in fact go far enough to ensure cyclist safety. And the $8 million land purchase in the centre of Queanbeyan, the biggest commercial land purchase ever, undertaken by the Village Building Company. Find out what's going on there. All that and more on the Riot Act. Sign up for our weekly newsletter or our daily digest and come and visit these beautiful beautiful, beautiful paintings. I'm, I'm biased, I adore them. Genevieve Jacobs, this is Region Media.